Yeah, there was a hiccup there. Um, let me just, uh, I think I need to redistribute my audio a little bit better here. I'm going to go in the settings really quick. change my audio. Let's up the mic a little bit. Alright. Okay, that should be better. Alright. Okay, am I getting... How am I coming through here now? Alright, cool. Alright. Eret's bodyguard, that's right. That's what I'm doing. I'm only asking because uh, I'm actually using a different mic this time as opposed to the default one, so there's not as much uh, reverb and you can actually hear both me and the gameplay clear, I hope. Alright. Let's get to this. Um, oh yeah, I'm holding a basket. I got a basket. be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. Oh, what? Okay. I guess this is what we're doing. Alright. That's I the like one you. I gave you. Huh. It is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Hmm. What are these? These are pretty. Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? I mean, she I used to date a Vlaris, so... As many so. as you can carry. So maybe a few more? gotta hand it to you. I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? Alright, let's go. I guess we're going this way? Wait, no. We're going that way. Alright. Wait, no. Where? Is it here? Okay. Yep, it is this way. Anyway, I mean, if you're looking to play... If you're looking to see this game for, like, a one-for-one -one remake, no you're... Hurry. We're not under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. Anyway, if you're going to look for this for a one-for-one -one remake, you definitely will get parts of it, but they added a lot of new stuff. Like, if I told you the general premise between what happened now from the original and what happened in this version, there would be so, about... How do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. There'd be about, like, six hours of additional content between what I mentioned and what's actually happened.
Oh yeah, a lot of crazy stuff's happened. This is after about nine hours of gameplay. I'm just now getting Aerith in the party. Or something. I want the mixtape. Go away. Let me get Aerith. I want. Can't wait. Aerith, I want. God damn it. Okay, fine. Goddamn blue baller. One day, I want to grow up and be just like Jesse. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. Cloud, that is a terrible okay, idea. I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Yeah. Alright, cool. The plate and the reactors. This here's the Sector 5 Community Center. Years ago when I yeah, it's cool, and it's also the, uh, and it's also a weird tango remix of the Victory theme from Final Fantasy. Did you know? This place is haunted. It's not safe up there, huh? Oh, I can buy new weapons? Cool. What are you selling, stranger? Man, so far none of these are... Okay, maybe that one. Do I have one of those? Oh wait, I already do. It's equipped. Take care of my equipment, you hear? If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. That's a lesson for life from the ground floor. <sighs> See you soon. Must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. Okay. Summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Wait, what? Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature. Is that Costa del Sol I'm hearing, by the way? Otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. 
I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. Um. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat obtuse. Oh, we bit. Okay. Please let me know when you have made your preparations. All right, but I want to see where that music is coming from first. Got nothing but the best here. All right, I guess that I guess we're just doing this then. Come up with a new recipe. Oh, Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Actually, I definitely need that one to steal. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. He is wearing the game version of Apple glasses. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. All right, so we're gonna fight Shiva then. Okay. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel. I hope no, you fuck, no, shut to up. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. All right, let's add some materia here. Let's get some fire going. I yep. hope you will continue to help me gather vital information from Yep, my we'll research. get Shiva, we'll get Leviathan, we'll get Ramu, we'll get Bahamut, we'll get Bahamut Sin, we'll get Bahamut Fury, we'll get Neo Bahamut, we'll get Bahamut Zero, we'll get Bahamut EX, we'll get Bahamut 13 3 Lightning Returns, we'll get Bahamut 7 Dirge of Cerberus, we'll get Super Bahamut RPG, Legend of and the I Seven Bahamuts, we'll get Bahamut X Human Revolution. Alright, let's go. Ah, bitch. Alright, fine. You want to talk shit? Call me fire. That's it. No holding back. Shame. It was a close match. However, I did manage to obtain valuable data. 
analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory next time. You know, that was a very backhanded compliment you just gave me, kiddo. But lucky for you, I want Shiva. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Whatever. That was bad. No, no. Run, run, run. Not looking good. Really? Did you? She fucking dodged it. That's bull. That's some bull ass bullshit. Really? Was there a problem? I know the system is functioning properly. Take a moment to catch your breath and then try again. Okay. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Okay. Uh, so clearly this is not working out. Can I upgrade my weapons or something? your monocle. Yeah, same. I'm kind of in that mentality, too. Little shit. <sighs> okay. 
Third time's the charm, and if not, if I don't manage to do it now, to help me gather vital information for my research. If I don't do, if I don't succeed this time, I'm just gonna do some exploring around town. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> All right. Ah, motherfucker. Ow. figuring this out a little bit. I need to get into Punisher mode right before I jump in on her. was unfortunate but remember your limitations are only in your mind I'm about to rip that fucking monocle off you kid then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator yeah yeah shut up Fire that'll work instead of fire up. <laughs> or okay, I wasn't. I meant to do regular fire, but no holding back. All right, punisher mode seems to be better for upping the pressure, so I'll do that instead. Ow. 
mean, I hope this works, because otherwise I'm kerfucked. Well, you turned out to be. Well, fuck it. I think we're taking a break here now. We're gonna go do something else here. What a shame. Fuck off, kid. Match. However, I did manage to obtain valuable data. Fuck off. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. All of your future battle intel submissions. Okay. You Whatever. Stupid kid. Shut the hell your mouth. Exactly. Okay, what's going on over here? Is there like a crowd of something happening here? <sighs> Should probably head back. Nah, can't leave without telling her. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought. But no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. Oh, and they great. say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. off limits to grown-ups but if we want to rescue them well we gotta break the rules oats! You're back. Is oats Eric's come to help yeah leave it to us we'll take care of it from here but there are monsters out there don't worry I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. You guys have got to hurry and find out the kids are playing. All right, all right. I got it. Run up this way. Be careful. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope we find them in time. Okay then. Yeah. <laughs> Me, little gremlins. Actually, I'm gonna switch to air for I'm a bit. <laughs> I actually like how Eric plays in this version. <clears throat> Nothing to it. Da -da 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 Get back. I think I see you now. So it's my turn? Here it comes! One more shot! Not bad. Cool. 
leave this to me. I don't think so. They pick up children like hamburger. That was cool. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's head back. You again? And plenty of juice. To be a soldier. You was? Did you go fight in the war? I might have.
try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. Flower sack the boy and swoop up the girl. Yep, that's pretty much how it is. There it is. Oh, okay, thank you. That was nice. Be around like you. You can't just grow up to be a soldier. You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. You're like, yeah, yeah. You got it all wrong. Like that. No way. It was way faster than that. Then how about yeah yeah like that? Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? Yeah, kid. Sure. Can I like? Why can't I run? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Tifa, wait. Tifa. 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 <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing there. It's just a little push traumatic stress disorder. Never hurt anybody. Like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain it. I see. Well, what do you see? think? Do I have what it takes? Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. All right, then. So that just kind of happened. What were we doing before this? <laughs> What? Oh god. Ew. Bad touch. Stranger danger. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Wait. Aerith, don't touch that. Hmm. Not him. It looks pretty damn similar. Huh? There's the number. But why two? Who knows? Come on. <laughs> The reunion. I knew it. It was one of them. This. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what happened. They really did. That's what happened. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. I don't see the kid with the fake buster sword you were talking about. Hmm. Hey, Cloud. I what, know kid? a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Mm. Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. What? I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. All right, I guess this is what we're doing today. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. I'll make sure to tell everyone around that you're here to help out. That way, you might get more work. Okay, what's, what is up with the Moogle? Oh, shit, it's the gold saucer. Oh, my. Is that a Moogle? 
You can see me, Koopo? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. What the fuck? Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest. So he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopo. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopo. <laughs> anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But they'll need Oh, that's what that those. is. What do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. Oh, nice. Okay, but seriously, I want that. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you going to do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Aerith, you are too precious for this world. Good to see you, Koopa. Alright, give me that mixtape. Yeah! Maybe our key. I'm buying it. I don't know what I'm going to need it for, but... Do I not have... I know I have more Moogle medals than that. You guys are great! Thanks to you, I've got a ton of medals to go. Which means I can bring happiness to a ton of people. Good for oh. you. Okay, then. Hey, Cloud. Maybe say it like you mean it? Not until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile. From ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Koopo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. Oh, cool. Welcome, Koopa. Come back soon, Koopa. All right, then. Let's see if this gets any easier, if I can do, like, the whole... I hope whole... you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I wonder if I can do VR missions with other people in my party. Like, then maybe I it'll be a little easier if Eric's with me. Portable Battle Simulator. find out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> ow, ow, bitch. Go on. No escape. Here we go. Oh, 
What? Ah, oh, bitch, stop it. Aerith, I don't know what you're doing, but please keep it up. I really need that. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ow. Okay, okay, Aerith, this is nice, but help, help, help! Ow. You are on point. I appreciate you as a healer right now. Where are you, Shiva? Okay, that was on me. that time. Let's try that again. Was there a problem? I know the system is functioning properly. Take a moment to catch your breath and then try again. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. No escape. <laughs> 
You're done. This one's for you. Lend me your strength. Get him. What? Now we're gonna get. Now we're gonna be. Uh, You're we're up. gonna be that guy. Time for a god fight. Okay. Eric, you are a gem. Thank you, Ray. Thank you for this ability. <laughs> oh my god, this just feels mean. Oh shit, I know that ability. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? I won't give up. Ifrit, keep her busy. Thank you, thank you, Aerith. Jesus Christ, you are on point, and I appreciate that about you. Booyah! Yeah. Moving on then. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Finally. Standing. The Shiva summoning materia is complete. Also, is no gonna, one going to point out the fact that Chadley is essentially creating gods? The Lady of Frost is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. I, I don't know how to take that. Any other VR missions I could do? Okay, so it's just Shiva. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Okay, then. That's just gonna happen. In answer to your question, Kieran, I have no idea who the hell Chad Lee is. He's some kid that likes to make materia. Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. I, I'm all for fucking up Shinra. I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. Alright, so um... Sure, hope not. Right. I'm going this way, I guess? I'm glad I moved here, but still aren't running, I Hey, you're a soldier. Oh wait, is this where I need to go? All right, maybe I go this way. Is this it? Nice sword you got. Mine. Eyes are up here, buddy. This place takes getting used to. <sighs> eh, it is weird what playing through uh, playing through this game and not hearing the original voices. Like, exactly. it's so weird hearing Reno's voice and not hearing Axel. Like, that's so jarring to me. I'm assuming this is where I'm going. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like this. Oh wait, um. They promised me they'd be back by now. Oh, you're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? 
Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Hold on, you're making Is kids do patrols? Thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Well, I wonder if this will be like an Easter egg opportunity. Aerith, you're back! Oh my god, another oh, one? look what we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Oh boy, that's uh... That's a little unsettling. Gotta love some of these names. Nuts and Bolts Hill, Scrappy Yard. Right, let's find these kids first. I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. Is... Is that all of them? The bombers are believed to have gone into hiding somewhere far from the site of the attack. Okay, so I guess there is still more. Alright. Is it time for Sam's headquarters yet? Those creepy floating eyeballs are probably still in the scrap. There were five of them in all. Alright, I'm leaving the perimeter. Let's go this way. Find the kids first, and then we'll kill the robots. Okay, lady, what are you... Oh, there's one. Hey there. How goes the patrol? Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh, no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are going to have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! Alright. My very first under city night. Hmm. So, do you think this means another world? Huh? Uh, I 
I've been out here all night watching the fire. Hmm. No lie, this this remix is very nutworthy. What's going on? Hey, hey, who's that guy with the French? My Oh wait, no, I'm still Okay, okay. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about it. Okay, I remember there was a kid with like a with a Buster short on him back earlier. Hey kid. You can't catch me. Okay. Is Buster Sword just the standard here? Cause that's that doesn't seem that's not like the impression I got when I was playing Crisis Core. Putting that out there. Okay, so I have to find two more kids. This feels like a perfect opportunity to do in, do some extra. Never take the puppy king's name in vain. No. Like this feels like a, this feels like a good opportunity for uh, for like just general Easter eggs to have like other swords on their back, like from different Final Fantasies. Like have one have Squall's gunblade, another be like Zidane's like double sword thing. going on over here? something else you should be worrying about right now? I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! One more. Like a 
sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> I can't get over that. Thank you, you little shit. Oh, Cloud? Hey there, how goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But, don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons! I gotta get back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. Cool. children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. What? We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He That's just Wedge. He and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh, yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money. The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout. And that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if he won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. Ah. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. The hideout is the only place that belongs to just us. I don't want to lose it because of some angry token. All right, so let's see. Oh man, I'm totally for it. Fuck them kids. You won't stop telling a story about that game. I don't get it. Why are y'all mad? This, what about this is out of character for Cloud? This is 100% within his realm of character. I totally see him doing this. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Toad King, where you hiding? Just in it, but... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. All right. Okay. Stole my potion. Kinda in a rush. So... Call the knife. Go on. 
Steal my kill. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friend. Thank you so much. Here. A nail bat? The treasure we promised. Okay. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I prepared a special assignment for everyone. What are these kids One doing in their spare time? <laughs> That's awesome. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia, you must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. <laughs> Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is, but I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family, a real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. But Biggs is still around. Oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Mm. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Huh. Okay then. Let's see what else we got going on. No. Let me... I have to tell you that 
I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. All right. <clears throat> okay. Synergy materia. Wind materia. Okay, I'm interested in that. Wait, do I have one? I have wind. Weird. I don't remember getting that. Apparently I have three of them. There's gotta be like a way up there that I'm just not seeing or something. Oh, here we go. Going in. Sorry, Stay back! 
Okay, these things might be a little bit more problematic than oh, I initially yeah. thought. Oh, you bitch. Come here. Yep. It's on you. Here goes. That's it. This one's for you. What? Why don't you lead the Take way? Take it over. Buzz off. Go, stupid robots. Oh yeah, that's right, I can upgrade some of their stuff now. Here it has a stick. I can't. I thought he said five. So I gotta take down. So I have to take down three more. Oh, I know where I'm going. I'm gonna follow you this way. I think I just circled back here, but, uh... Try to stay behind me. Here's the other three. Hold 
You have amazing timing with this. Just keep that up. While I wait for that, I'm gonna go get a drink really quick. I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost. Or sorry for maybe Shinra is just a bunch of self-destructive sociopaths. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine? Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Ha! Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a Merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. I want that on a shirt. Me too, man. Actually, That's great. Here, I got another favor to ask. Shinra There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? Um, okay. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. Aerith, are you unironically telling me to smile? All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good, because I command a very good salary. What? What? Oh, fuck. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, my God. Ah. Okay. Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. You have a golden have sound a voice. It's the anniversary of my wife's death, and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. 
The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. Okay, I'm curious about this thing I got now, because I, I want to see something really quick. What? <laughs> An actual nail bag? Is that Ron Swanson? It might be! It very well might be. Um, alright, so I, I have a nail bat now. So, uh, let's see what that gets me. What? Oh my god, this is like freaking, uh, it's like Ness's bat from, uh, Earthbound. It's just like, has no accuracy, but if I hit it once, it could, like, be the deadliest thing in the game. I hope that's what this is supposed to be. Because that's, that's wonderful, if that's really what it is. To have found the joke weapon. I hope I did. I hope that's not the joke weapon, because, like, I want this to be the deadliest weapon of the game. <laughs> Just. A fucking nail that. I can't get over that. That's awesome. Alright, let's just kind of. Let's take this for a test. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! That is beautiful! Okay, let's see what happens then! Going, Cloud. Oh, right, yeah. This, we're going this way. I'm enjoying this way more than I should be. Starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play whack a box again. Wait, what? It's all thanks to you. Whack a box? Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. Eh? Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, whack a box. You want in? It's super fun. All right, why not? The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're going to make a special exception just for you. All right. Let's play Whack-A-Box. Get ready. 
I can get from this. Yeah, why not? I can go for some more. Okay, okay. I think I can beat the result. I'm gonna do it this time. I got this. I got this. Let's go. <sighs> Only one way to become a whack -a box master. Whack, whack, whack. Oh, you are too innocent, kid. Alright, let's go. We'll be here whenever you want to play. Let's go! Let's whack some boxes. Realized I have my ability still. Get ready. 
Okay. Okay, now this, you know, I might, I might try a different weapon for this one. We'll be here whenever you feel like playing. All right. Let's switch to the Iron Blade, see how that works. Wanna play some whack a box? Well, Alright, let's try it. more like it. Yeah, triple slash is working. Okay, that's what I needed. All right. Come back again soon, okay? Pinky swear? All right. There we go. That is me. I am become Cloud, destroyer of crate. All right. You're right here, you little... Okay, anyway. Let's see if I can get some new stuff with the Moogles. Welcome to the Moogle Emporium.
cool. Thanks, you guys. I've got a whole mountain of Muko medals now. Soon I'll be able to make everyone here super happy. That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the swamps. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the swamps, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopo. And I've got extra happiness for you two. Huh? So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh, Moogle Magic, Koopo? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. All right then. So uh, I guess we're going this way now. Okay, wait, where am, why am I over here then? Oh my god. Okay. Well, it appears I may have screwed up. No, no. Okay. Let's go this way, yes. become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the Daily Buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. Um... I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. Mm. Now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Well, Which then that sounds like your fault and mine. Work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Yeah, no. I wish I could have helped build a place. I don't actually gotta help this guy, do I? I don't. I really don't wanna. Uh, 
Truth be told, it's really just a place for us old folks to sit and chat. Wait, what's what's in here then? Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Oh no, Mireille, are we doing meet this? Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. He looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about Is that about Grandma Pinaco from Full the Metal? Defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra must been. Not looking into it for the report. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Okay, then. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh, quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh. Well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. A plan first, <coughs> then act. That's every respectable journalist's motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? Why am I being roped into being a snitch? So I don't like being a snitch. Harry, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Okay then. I wish I could have helped build a place like that. Hmm? I'm sure she is planning something like just based on that alone, but
Alright, let's upgrade this then. Oh my god, everybody wake up! One of you! Fight through it! I'll get Aerith to pick it. Back to good now. I'm just so tired. Need to heal up. Oh no. God damn it. I hate these things. I hate these things a lot.
You can do it. Here he comes. This one's for you. Yeah, fuck those things in its entirety. This must be it. You want to say a prayer too? No thanks. I think. Instead of our regular program. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. Oh, neat. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I, I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. Oh, it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? You know, that's a weird way to say thank you, old man, but you're welcome all the same. I guess we can move on to whoever's visiting Aerith's place. Just one night in Walmart and I'm broke. Hey, you're a soldier, right? Yeah, yeah. That sure was something. Walmart is making today. It's all thanks to that. All clear down this We're way. We're patrolling for monsters. The reactor just went up in flames, didn't it? Huh? I was born and raised topside. Sounds like I found a new target for Feast of Fiction. Sweet and spicy meatballs. Hmm. Seems really good, actually. I've got it.
Well, this is a little Now, bitch, get off. I'm coming. One more shot. Get him. Stop the Let's go. What the fuck is that thing? Come on. I'm with you. Let's go. Ow. Aerith, I'm gonna really need you to be on heel on heel check for this. Running! Okay, that was bad. Did, did that do anything? I can't even tell. Ow. Okay. Gotta be careful. God damn it. God damn it. I'll take care of them. This one's for you. I'm not even going to question how that actually makes sense. Let's get this over with. Here we 
Got sharp something. One more shot. Need a light. The guardian angel of the slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. You know, really don't know how I feel about the whole snitching thing, but whatever. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it, pinned by the angel herself! Hmm, so this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else, a message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time, he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? I don't think she was talking to in you, buddy. In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! What? It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. Huh. I... I can take this. We probably ought to call it a day. Yeah, I thought it. I thought she was the You've she was the angel. So hard, you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Oh. They didn't know if you were worth it yet, but now they do. Come on, let's go home. All right, I guess if we're done.
let's go see what's Let's see what's next for our little merry band. Even the hard ones for grown-ups. Oh shit. Hello, Aerith. Oh, what do boy. you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Leave him be. Are we Luke's not this? a bad person, really. No, Which... I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You'll want to talk. All right, I guess we're doing this. Oh shit! Did he just freaking suplex me? You little shit, get over here! Ah oh, shit! Okay. Ow, ow. Rude. Stop it. Stop it. You look you fucker, get over here. Gotta get over here. <laughs> that was such a clean suplex, I'll give him that. But still suck. <laughs> ow, bitch! Okay, fine. Soldier. Ow! Okay. Stop it! Stop punching me! Not looking good. <laughs> Fine. God, I forget he is a brawler. Midgar Wrestling Federation wants him. <laughs> I ha that has to be a thing in this world. God damn. I see. Let's see if I can counter. Try me. You know. Okay, I can't. I apparently cannot. Be careful. Go on. Ow. Firstly, you as a you being a dick, rude. Wait, what? Oh shit. So you had enough yet? He just has a spare. I don't believe that I have. Oh, come on, I just spent all that time staggering him. What no, 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 no. Fuck! Dick! Not looking good. Just stop it. Okay, it's my job. Then think about changing careers. You're going down. Get ready. Come on. He's not pretty strong, isn't he? I've seen this type before. You don't know me. Okay, you being, you being. I want. I'm trying not to say rude because that's just, it's just too obvious. How's that payback working out for you? Oh, better than expect. Hey. 
of yours is fireproof, Rude. Get over here. Wow, okay, apparently it is. I was kidding, but you know, good to know, I guess. Good thing it's not swordproof. Come here. of for their name for their names here and by all means feel free to drop them because god dang Do this all day, Rude. <laughs> hey there, partner. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job at something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Sector 7. Oh shit, are they doing this already? Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? Huh. Okay then. So, uh... That just kinda happened. So. Sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay?
Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. Cloud's mom's name is Claudia. Become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. You, you look like Cloud with boobs. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Is that Harry Walgren playing her? Stay my welcome. All right, off we go. Oh, God damn it. Why is there a bucket there? What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. Your place is a mess. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly <coughs> safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Hmm. All right, Cloud. How's that walk of shame treating you? Look who it is. 
Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. Okay. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <sighs> nothing. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. That's the underside of Sector Six, Wall Market, a real special place. When you say but special like I'm that, I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you. I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Interesting. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's what? how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, wow. as the old saying goes. So this is just one giant black market? Charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Huh. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Oh. I know a better way to get to Sector 7. <sighs> one that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. Aerith, what kind of life are you leading At behind closed doors? Huh. Back when I was a kid. Like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? This It'll is, be uh, an adventure. This is a unique choice of uh, music. Stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. Yeah. <laughs> 
What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh... Yeah, cute until I think... Until I know... Cute until oh, you realize great. there's probably a body Almost attached to that. Ladder. I wonder if we can use this. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm just kind of hoping that that's what it realizes last second, because I have no idea what I'm doing here. jump up there. I could probably jump a building up. Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Eric. I'll feel better in a second. Let's do this. Protect 
you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Switch something up here. Hmm. I was told that the uh, stream is freeze is still freezing. So, um, is this still running okay for everybody else here? that robot hand again. happening what's going on I don't know what's Seriously, what was that? Stay behind me. Oh, my God. 
What's going on? Uh, I'm feeling pretty weak. We'll make it quick. One more shot. Get him. Okay, what the fuck was that? That was just a thing that happened, I guess. Okay. Life happened? Well, life finds a way to drive me up the fucking wall, apparently. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Is a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Give her her high 10 cloud. It's all she wants. Oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, well, ma'am. Guess we're going for a ride. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. Oh boy. They found a way down. So can we. You know, I'm sensing a boss vibe here, just given the fact that there's a bench and a... Oh my god, is that a rock version of, of Cosmo Canyon? Give me that. Give me that. I need that. Fuck yeah, I am buying that. That is mine. Before I do this, I'm gonna do one more thing. 
Aerith, would you like a se would you like a special materia? Ah, you can have Shiva. Leave this to me. I eh? don't think so. Okay, hi. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting to do, but, um, give me a sec. We're gonna see what this is. Whoa, not too fast, okay? Got it. Oh, mice. around guess it's just us mm. it's still warm should we relight it have our own campfire I need to get back besides looky here boys caught us some burglar who the fuck are you people stealing our shit doing crime <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Kept him in a, a composite. I don't get him. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. Due <laughs> <laughs> recompense. Due recompense? Uh, no shit, for brains. Due recompense. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, Can we just get to the fight? This is, uh, this bit's already old. Compensatory damages. Oh, uh, so recompense. I can't <laughs> Oh uh, boy. I think we've heard enough. Excuse me, I'm just beating your friend to death with a bat here. Oh, one down. Ow, bitch! Fine, you wanna talk shit? Come here. Get ready. That's it. Ow. 
Here goes. Ah! This one's for you. So, uh, Aerith, I'd like to make a proposal. We never speak of this again. Don't look. Don't look. Okay, so that just kind of happened. Why does that one sound like Binky from Arthur? I, you're asking the wrong person for that one. Last episode of Arthur I saw was about ten years ago. Let's get the hell out of here! Who are you guys? Don't leave me! I'm coming! What the fuck is this? Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a weird... I kind of like this, like, jazz remix on the song too. Or, or, jazz step, is that the word? I'll show you what I can do. It's your turn. Yeah. Jesus, Cloud, come I'll on, man. Oh, you. Oh, you bitch. Jesus fucking Christ! This weird, this kind of sort of dubstep take on this theme I'm listening to. And it was, no, I was supposed to go this way. Two of each sounds good. I heard you, Aerith. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it?
Okay. Seriously, where is Aerith? I don't see her anywhere. Oh wait, I bring her over here, don't I? Ah, misdirection, I see. <sighs> God, this is un unbelievably tedious.
on for you in a sec. Pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Okay. Still, Aerith. Cloud, up top. <gasps> yeah. That just kind of happened. <sighs> All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on. You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? Soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. Oh. Yeah, don't don't mind me. Just gonna <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Mm hmm. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <laughs> I love that Cloud just still has that fucking nail bat over his shoulders. Gotta look forward, not back. Yeah, yeah, Earth. Gotta look forward, not back. <laughs> Here. 
here. Hmm. This won't take long. Wait, what? <sighs> Ready. Wait, what? Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. Emergencies, and it's safer too. Why don't we just take that one then? <laughs> okay, go on the slide. All right, well, let's see what that is. Oh, we. What? I see Judge Meredith. Guess this is it then. Ready? All right. Let's yeah. go. Going on. What are you Shh. wearing? Is she wearing a kimono? I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven. Meet up with the gang. But I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick. Oh God, this is why I love you, Tifa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. I mean, you you're probably not wrong. Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Right then. Come well, on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. I guess, um, you know, I think this is actually a good stopping point because it feels like we're kind of entering a new section of the story. So I think I'll call it a night here. And uh, God, I'm a little surprised. We out. We actually, I think we hit double digits for viewers today. So uh, thanks for everybody who was watching up to this point, and I will see you guys next week.